In this lesson, we'll tell you all about the Pythagorean Theorem. We'll show you where it comes from, how it works, and then take you step by step through a couple of examples. The Pythagorean Theorem is one of the most famous mathematical formulas. It relates the three sides of a right angle triangle, and we use it to find the missing side. The Pythagorean Theorem was named after the famous Greek mathematician and philosopher Pythagoras around 550 BC. In order to use the Pythagorean Theorem, one must start with a right angle triangle. The right angle in our triangle is labeled with the purple square, indicating a 90 degree angle. Opposite the right angle is the side C. This is the longest side in the triangle and is called the hypotenuse. The other two sides, A and B, are sometimes referred to as legs of a right angle triangle. The Pythagorean theorem states, in a right angle triangle, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. In math terms, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. We'll take you through a proof of the Pythagorean theorem. This is just one of many. We'll start with a square, and a and b in our square represent the sides of our right angle triangle. The hypotenuse of these four colorful triangles would be the same as C in our diagram. These four triangles are all the same. We'll calculate the yellow area of the two squares that are produced. In the bottom square, A times A gives us A squared. And in the right corner, the yellow square is B times B, which is B squared. The total yellow area is a squared plus b squared. We'll shift these triangles around, maintaining the same area. We've produced a different square. The sides of the hypotenuse are all labeled as c, so the sides of this square are also c, giving us an area of c squared. This yellow area must be the same in both cases. So a squared plus b squared must equal c squared. As said before, this is one of many proofs. If you go online, you'll see other fascinating ways to prove the Pythagorean theorem. Now we'll take you through a couple of examples and show you how the Pythagorean theorem works. For each triangle, we want to find the missing side. In A, the missing side is the hypotenuse. So we'll set up our equation, 5 squared plus 12 squared equals the hypotenuse squared, in this case, x. We multiply out the numbers, 5 squared is 25, 12 squared 144, add our two values, we get 169, which equals x squared. To solve an equation, we must get rid of the squared. What is the opposite of squaring something? Taking the square root. So x will equal the square root of 169, which works out to be 13. The missing side in B is not the hypotenuse, but one of the legs. We will have x squared plus 11 squared equals the hypotenuse squared, which in this case is 15. We multiply out the numbers, 11 squared being 121, 15 squared being 225. We want to isolate the x or the x squared, so we must subtract 121 from both sides, leaving us with x squared equals 104. To solve for x, we take the square root of the both sides, giving us an answer of x equals the square root of 104. If we have a calculator, we can get an estimate for the square root of 104, which is 10.2 meters. Another way we can use Pythagoras' theorem is to prove whether or not the triangle is a right triangle. We know it must be a right triangle if the Pythagorean theorem works. For A, we'll use the Pythagoras' theorem. 
6 squared plus 10 squared equals 12 squared. On the left hand side we have 36 plus 100. On the right side 12 squared equals 144. The left hand side is 136. The right side is 144. We know these two values are not equal. Therefore this is not a right triangle. In question B 8 squared plus 15 squared equals 17 squared. We'll figure out the left hand side is 64 plus 225, whereas the right hand side, 17 squared, is 289. 64 plus 225 is 289. Both sides are equal. This must be a right triangle because Pythagoras' theorem works. Any set of three whole numbers that satisfy the Pythagorean theorem are called Pythagorean triples. In the examples we just did, when we had the sides 8 and 15, it gave us a hypotenuse of 17. All three are whole numbers. That's why this is called a Pythagorean triple. We also did the triangle with two sides of 5 and 12 having a hypotenuse of 13. I would encourage you to see if you can find other Pythagorean triples as you're using the Pythagorean theorem.